straighten out your spine. And straighten it out even more. And feel a strong foundation in your core from the spine as well as the approximate navel area muscularly. As if in a sense you're pulling the navel and the spine together, them both holding a certain stability. I wouldn't say tightness, but firmness, stability, steadiness. You might find there's a slight um, bending forward, so to speak, with, what would you call that, pulling your hips basically tilting, tilting your butt backwards a little bit, as if you're not quite curving it, but, <coughs> and you'll feel, you'll feel a stability, a rigidity, a steadiness. And expand that upwards. <coughs> Move your chest up in a sense, open your shoulders, make them a little wider than usual, and roll them backwards just a little bit. Don't overdo it, just feel steady. It's more about the energetic feeling of it. And straighten out your neck too, as if you got brain freeze, kind of like the, mm -hmm. this initial sort of shock response. Like you're rolling it upwards and you can visualize as if someone is pulling your crown up to sort of like finish the whole thing off. Can you feel that stability, that stretch, that elongated, what's the word, elong? Oh, thank you, <laughs> elongation. <laughs> Fucking foreigner. <laughs> Who does he think he is? And you see that after perhaps a minute or so, you might have to remind yourself for a second. Mm -hmm. And again, it's not that much about the physical posture as it is about the intention of steadiness, elongation, reaching up. Now you can visualize if you want, if you want close your eyes, might be easier. And visualize that the top of your crown is in a sense a sphere of light that opens up like a cone of light, cone shaped like a pylon on its head, a cone upwards towards the cosmos, towards the light, towards the sun of your being, the spirit of your being. And so you elongate your whole system and you make it one open channel like a tunnel, like a beam, it feels like a beam of light. And it becomes more powerful, it becomes brighter, and it is straight, straight as can be. And again, think in terms of straightening out, making longer, going upwards, and simultaneously from your navel, visualize a sphere of energy in the center of your body, so to speak, close to your spine, from which a strong, powerful cable of, cable of energy shoots down through your perineum, deep and powerfully into the earth. Like a drill made of light moving at 100 meters per second, shooting down into the core of this being that you're connected to already. And maintain now simultaneous awareness of that cable going further down, further down, further down, continuing to go further down. Don't even track where it's at, just 
know that it keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, farther than you can see and imagine. And simultaneously bring your awareness up to the spine itself and that light from the crown going outward, upward, expanding. widening, the cable down being, in a sense, narrow, being precise, the cone-like energy upwards being ever more expanding, reaching for that sphere of your being, that sun of your beingness. And now breathe through your nose, but in such a way that you open that little valve, so to speak, that, that shuts of the nostril area from the mouth area. So that when you breathe in, you don't actually feel your nostrils in the wind, so to speak. You, you hear a deeper hissing sound that is as if it's inside your throat, inside your head. When you do the same when you exhale. And again, check your form for a second. Straighten yourself out as if you're being pulled up and as if you're grounded downwards at the same time, stretched in both directions, expanded in both directions, becoming more open and receptive to both the earth energy as well as the sun energy or the spirit energy. And when you breathe in this way, even though there's a sort of a tension in your lower body, still use your stomach first, so to speak. Use the belly first. Expand the belly first. Use the diaphragm. Then let the chest and the shoulders follow the last bit. And then exhale, reversing the process. Now, while this connection is stable and permanent, while the breathing goes on, <coughs> contract your perineum muscle, your PC muscle, the one in between your two exits, the one that you use when you stop peeing. But visualize the center area of it not so much towards your genitals, but more in between the asshole and the genitals. <laughs> Let's be specific. Ash, don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you, buddy. <laughs> Keep this fine straight. Upward. Too many assholes. Focus on your own asshole. <laughs> Return to your meditation. <laughs> and periodically contract that muscle, pulling it as if you're pulling energy upward, so to speak, as if you're locking it off and you're bouncing energy upward through the spine towards the precise center of your head, also called the pineal gland or the third eye, the seat of the soul, the receiver of the individual soul. And make that connection. Visualize a blue or purple connection between the perineum muscle contracting, pulling up energy, bouncing it back up and up and up, containing it in a sense, circulating it within a closed circuit. And allow that energy to feed into that center of the brain, into that pineal gland, 
while simultaneously it receiving more information, more data, more energy, more flow, more acceleration, more light, more love from that sun of beingness that you can visualize as a sphere far above and beyond your physical head pouring down into this cone-shaped figure. And both energies, both the energy that you're sucking upwards and that you're receiving through your openness to the heavens are both merging and coalescing and sort of forming multiple rings like you see around Saturn or around an atom, perhaps. And see it spinning. Visualize it spinning and building up energy. And visualize it releasing energy. Visualize it releasing dimethyltryptamine into your brain. Visualize this P-shaped gland at the very center of your head, receiving energy willingly, lovingly, openly. See it free itself from its enclosement, from its sleepiness. See it wake up, see it grow, see it pulsate, see it release a fragrance, a substance that is now being released into the brain, into all portions of the brain, into the body, into the nervous system. And it's making you feel more, in a sense, lightheaded, but in a good way, lightheaded in a grounded way. It's making you feel spacious and free and energetic rather than physical. It's slowly turning your consciousness to steam. Remember the breathing and keep feeding energy into that center, unless it doesn't feel good. But if it continues to feel good, continue to do this. Pulsate up the energy and keep receiving from the universe and together they blend and meet in the third eye center, in the center of your head. And you can even visualize a sort of a cross if you would look at your body from the side where there's this vertical line and then there's this horizontal line that reaches from in between the eyebrows through the center of the head, through the pineal gland. This is all energetic to the back cortex, the back of the head. So now there's a cone-shaped light stream upward, forward, and backwards and a strong cable-shaped string, stream of light, of energy, a connection, going straight down into the earth. And keep breathing in energy and visualize whatever you desire along these pathways. Amplify it. Feel the energy. Amplify it. Visualize it. Keep breathing. Receive more energy. Give more energy. Pulsate more energy. Contain more energy. Bounce back more energy. Use that perineum muscle occasionally to bounce back even more energy back to the center of the brain. And you see that light grow and you feel differences in your physio physiology, in your brain chemistry. You feel yourself change and alter and you start to feel more light. You start to feel more bliss. You start to feel more epicness, more expansion, more cosmic connections, more cosmic relationships, more cosmic information, more remembrance of who you truly are and why you're here and what the nature of your soul is like and what the nature of your higher self is like and what the nature of your higher mind is like. And you start to feel this. You start to know this. And the mind is actually very quiet. The mind has no thoughts. There is only visualization. There is only energy, there is only knowingness, there is only intuition. Breathe in. Fuel this process, feed it more energy. Breathe in light, receive light from the head and bounce back light using the perineum muscle. See the spine light up in a positive white light. See it be at ease, completely at ease and receptive of this energy. See it open up to the cosmic energies, the positive cosmic forces that are already here to support you. Trust in the cosmic forces that are already here to support you. Feel yourself radiate. Feel your spinal energy wake up. Feel your nervous system become self-aware. Your nervous system starts to notice starts to wake up and beingness results. 
presence, beingness, results. The nervous system is now awake to itself, on its own, automatically awake. It can no longer forget that it is. It is awake. It is filled with light. And you are wide open, connected to the universe, in full trust, in full love. Fully blessed, fully supported, fully protected, fully supported. You are in total abundance of love and light and resources. You are highly intuitive in this state. Keep breathing. Stretch out upwards towards the heavens, towards the sky. Open up your chest, open up your heart, open up your root chakra. Open up your navel center, your solar plexus. Open up your throat. Express yourself energetically, freely. Keep breathing. Pulsate this energy upward. Remember to use the perineum muscle. And bounce it up, bounce it up. Bounce the energy upwards towards the cosmos. Towards the cosmic forces, towards your cosmic family, towards God, towards Source, beyond all the veils, beyond illusion, into the truth of your soul, into the brightness where nothing but white light exists, where nothing but clarity and knowingness exists, where nothing but merger with the Creator is. Now see this, surround yourself in this sphere of light that expands, that is wide, that is big, that is large, that is huge, that is expanded. Visualize this sphere. You're inside of a sphere. You're at the center of a ginormous sphere of light. And all the energy inside of that sphere, including your body, belongs to you. It's directly under your control. Feel that sphere growing. And everything inside the sphere, you can feel, you are aware of, you are expanded, you are cosmically connected. And again, see the pineal gland be connected like the center hub to all these highways of connection, cosmic, earthly, expanded, horizontal, widespread, world worldly, other humans. And see the light feed into the brain, into the center. See it releases more dopamine, more DMT, more bliss, more joy, more relaxation, more healing, more release. Yes. Keep visualizing light, more light pouring through as much as you can handle. If it becomes uncomfortable, ease out, stop and stop listening to what I have to say. Just become quiet and let it marinate. But for now, if it feels good, keep bouncing up that energy, keep receiving that energy, keep increasing their brightness. Visualize the brightness, visualize the blindedness of that light penetrating every pore of your body right now. Your whole body is enlightened, is lit up. It's in an ascension state. It is in a fourth density state, a far advanced fourth density state. Your DNA is being properly put together, activated. The non-physical aspects and strands of your DNA, of which there are many more than the physical ones you perceive of, are becoming highlighted, are becoming operational, are now starting to interface with the physical strands. And so your non-physical cells start to integrate with your physical selves. And you start to remember, you start to see visions, you start to remember who you are, why you are here, how powerful you are, how confident you are, what you are capable of, how you are always ever connected to infinite parallel realities, and how this moment is always only one moment away from any moment you desire to experience or express. And feel that unconditional cosmic love and support and protection for you, just for you. You're inside of this ginormous sphere of light and you feel your body being filled. Bounce back that energy, make it more bright. Make it brighter, make it brighter. Love yourself. Free yourself. No more matrix energy to encapsulate you, to imprison you. You are free. You are free. You are light. You are love. You are cosmic awareness. You're beyond the body. You've always been beyond the body. The body is an illusion. You are nothing but light. You're nothing but consciousness. Let the bliss penetrate you. Never forget this. Let the bliss penetrate you. Receive it. Receive it. Become it. Amplify it. Be powerful. Be free. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Do this two more times. Keep bouncing up, increase the brightness. You've got one more breath to overwhelm yourself with love and light. <laughs> 
cosmic connection. One more breath. And now become completely relaxed. Sit back in your chair. Let your body completely relax as if it's falling asleep. And become utterly, utterly quiet and do nothing but witness the sensation that is. Just be an observer. Let the energy do, do what it does. Do not be attached. Let it all be. Let it all flow. Just witness. Just witness. With great stillness, just witness. Don't interfere with anything. Just witness. Don't describe anything. Just be. Just perceive, become nothing, become no one, have no will, have no preference, only passively witness and be in silence within. Know that everything is okay. Everything is allowed by existence. Everything is accepted. Nothing is ever wrong. Nothing is ever wrong. Nothing is ever wrong. You're always okay. You're always loved as you are. <coughs> Feel the lightness of your consciousness. Feel the lightness even inside your body. Feel your light body more than you feel your physical body. And you can repeat this sometimes in your life to activate your consciousness of your light body and connect to that spiritual power inside yourself which does not come from physical matter but which gives rise to physical matter and makes it easier to shift, to change parallel realities, and to perceive what you are now in the vibration of, to transmute all patterns into gold, into sheer gold, to this golden luster of love, light, and desired realities. An awakened third eye to perceive more of the cosmos, the cosmic forces, that you are, to become a receiving antenna for truth to come through you, for unconditional love to support you, to fill you up from the inside out, to light up your nervous system, your spinal cord, your energy centers, your energy body, and with that your physical body, activate your DNA and interface the non-physical with the physical, combining the physical DNA with the non-physical strands of DNA. literally enlightening your system, your body. It's not just a mental effort. You can also enlighten your body, your vehicle of expression, so that it becomes a better servant of the light. Love and light is all there is. Every piece of matter, every piece of energy, every piece of light is made out of the original creator's unconditional love light expression. Everything is love light energy. There is no exceptions anywhere in this universe or any other universe. You're not an exception either. You are literally made out of love light energy. 
the direct, immediate desire of the Creator has become you. Every part of you is made out of love, light, energy. The Creator has created you out of its primal desire to know itself. You are a free agent of the infinite. You are a helper of the Creator. You are a mirror to its faceless face so that it may know it is indeed infinite and mysterious to no end. Know yourself as infinite mystery and yet know yourself as this light body empowering your life at the same time and see that that paradox is completely resolved. There's no question that remains. You are clear, bright, awakened, light, expressing the Creator in a unique and powerful new way. So feel good about yourself because the Creator surely does. He looks upon you with an unfathomable, limitless degree of love, affection, deep personal affection. Feel that. Feel that love beating as your heart. There's not a moment where your experiences are not gathered for the benefit of the Creator to know itself more. Everything you do, whether you label it success or failure, is equally valid as a way for the one to know more of itself in form. So thank you. Thank yourself. Thank your body. And feel that the Creator is with you. Not just out there as this big sphere or this big expansive nothingness or infinity. The Creator is you. The Infinite One is your body, is your mind, is your distortions. The Love Light is your brain, your processes, your trust and your doubts. It is all ever presently already accepted, already made out of light. To let it be as it is allows you to see the perfection of it as it is. Allow it to be as it is, so you can see the perfection that it is. A feeling can never distract you from your truth, but avoiding a feeling can surely point you in directions far removed from your soul's desire. Allow the feelings to be as they are, do not fight them. Do not avoid them. Do not describe them. Remain unaffectedly in love with what is. And allow, therefore, what is to become what it wants to become next. And that it does so through you, through your freedom, through your allowance of what you truly already desire. Feel the bliss inside your body, coursing through your veins, through your nerves, through your cells. See everything's dancing. Feel light, because that's what you are. Let nothing weigh you down. Be trigger free. Light as steam, ingraspable like the sky. Clouds pass through your field, but the sky never is affected by anything. Even a hurricane does not affect the sky. Space will always remain, as will you. 
Do not fret. Do not worry. Do not sweat the small stuff. Do not sweat the big stuff either. Do not sweat. Love. Just witness. 